Heathcliff O'Malley off BGT Images Kate, we've missed you as royal watchers we've been making up for the Duchess of Cambridge's absence with the sweet romance between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle but we were nevertheless delighted by Kate's first public appearance since her third pregnancy was announced on September 4th. Duchess of Cambridge is pregnant with third child suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum, a severe form of morning sickness, which she was also afflicted with during her pregnancies with Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The Duchess HASNT been seen in public since the end of August when she viewed a new memorial garden at Kensington Palace that marked the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. As she sheltered from the rain below an umbrella, and avidly discussed the symbolism of each of the garden's white flowers with Prince William, Prince Harry, and the head gardener, she seemed as unaware as the rest of us that it would be October before she appeared in public again. But she's back, and it couldn't be for a better cause a reception honoring mental health campaigners at Buckingham Palace, which she attended alongside William and Harry on World Mental Health Day. We know that everyone is very excited about and focused on her pregnancy, but can we just take a moment to say how much we loved her powder blue lace dress by Temperley. Featuring long lace sleeves with flared cuffs, black buttons, and black velvet ribbon detail at the cuffs and neck, it was the perfect dress for Kate's chic re-entrance into public life. Besides, it is way too soon for baby bump talk and pregnancy speculation, otherwise well be exhausted by the time her third child actually arrives said to be due sometime in March. We're just happy to have been thrown this pretty pastel style creme, and we have months of Kate's pregnancy outfits to look forward to, in which regard she's rarely let us down. Although the Duchess is still suffering from morning sickness and will not be returning to regular royal duties for some time, it was said that she made a special effort to spend the evening at Buckingham Palace because the cause is so important to her. The Heads Together campaign, which encourages people to speak up about mental health issues they are experiencing, is spearheaded by Kate, William and Harry. Kate's involvement was directly referenced by her husband in a speech he made earlier that day, when Catherine, Harry, and I launched heads together, it is fair to say that we were ambitious about what it could achieve, the Duke of Cambridge said before explaining, it was Catherine who first realized that all three of us were working on mental health in our individual areas of focus, she had seen that at the core of adult issues like addiction and family breakdown, unresolved childhood mental health issues were often part of the problem, he went on, Harry had seen that at WASNT enough to help veterans recover from their physical injuries without acknowledging the emotional and mental support they required, and after years of working with the homeless and having been called out to multiple scenes of suicide as a search and rescue and then Hems pilot, I understood the damage poor mental health was causing to our communities and for our families. Recently, the Duchess appeared in a video recorded back in January to introduce a children's animated film about mental health. Encouraging children to be open about their feelings and mental health, she gently urges, sometimes, it's just a simple conversation that can make things better.